What is glycerol? Why is it in my pre-workout? And is it at an efficacious dose or am I just getting scammed? Now, glycerol is a naturally occurring substance in your body. And the most dominant place of this will be with triacylglycerol or TAGs, which are stored lipids in the body. Glycerol is the backbone in which fatty acids hang out on, and when they're burned, glycerol is released. Now, the primary reason that glycerol is found in these pre-workouts, commonly non-stimulant pre-workouts, is that it acts as an osmolite. And if you are an astute researcher and try and figure out what that exactly means, you'll find that they are low molecular weight organic compounds that influence the properties of biological fluids. So what does that mean? Well, if you ever did an osmosis science project in grade school growing up, you know that during osmosis, things move from high pressure gradients to lower pressure gradients. And so just as salt in this scenario helps move water out of the potato, glycerol can help move water into your cells. The amount of people asking me about glycerol as a supplement drastically went up after this episode of the Joe Rogan podcast. Yeah, yeah you might want to try is uh, glycerol. This is a product that we sell usually for hyperhydrating a muscle for endurance work or for getting just like a impractically ridiculous pump in the gym as a bodybuilder. But you could hypothetically retain more water before you go to bed so you don't piss. In a previous video, I had discussed the benefits of weighing yourself before and after cardio workouts to determine how much fluid to replenish with. And glycerol is definitely something that could help improve this through hyperhydration before exercise. But all glycerol protocols aren't created equally and some scenarios might dictate different forms of supplementation. Although not studied as much in the clinical research, glycerol has been used to increase intramuscular hydration to increase the amount of pump that you get from exercises. This is typically dosed at around three to five grams in common non-stimulant pre-workouts. The bulk of research for glycerol use is in hyperhydrating and rehydrating. So that means hydrating past a physiological standpoint before exercise or trying to expedite the process of rehydration after exercise. In these studies, subjects consume up to 1.2 grams per kilogram of body weight in glycerol powder, which is quite substantial amount of volume. I tend to stick on the easier side of things and typically am not consuming anywhere over 10 grams at once. For things like when I climbed the mountain barefoot, I didn't want to have to carry a lot of water with me and increase my weight. So instead I hyperhydrated with glycerol before attempting the climb, so I didn't need to drink as much fluid. Combining glycerol with other things such as electrolytes or creatine can further help hyperhydrate and avoid the nasty dehydration performance losses. Finally, it's important to understand what type, what form of glycerol you are consuming in your pre-workout. Right here with my bag of glycerol monasterate, this is standardized to about 10% glycerol, which means for every one gram of glycerol monastery, I'm consuming about 100 milligrams of actual glycerol powder. Different forms of glycerol powder can yield higher amounts of glycerol. A popular one is Glycer Pump, which boasts a 65% standardized glycerol amount. As a conclusion, do I think that glycerol is worth it? And the answer is, it depends. In the scenario of when I was in college athletics during a fall conditioning time period, glycerol is extremely beneficial as I'm able to hyperhydrate during periods of training that it's A, very hot, B, high sweat rate, and C, I'm not able to get down as much water as I otherwise would be able to. Glycerol's impact isn't as substantial if you're not otherwise being substantially dehydrated. And so if your pre-workout has one gram of glycerol monosterate in it, do I think that it's doing a whole lot for you? I'll let you decide that for yourself.
Thank you.